it's not simply plugging numbers into an equation, it's taking math, this whole language that describes the universe, and applying it to something that's real world and important. The first element we studied, highways and bridges, was provided $27.5 billion by the stimulus package. Your paper was evaluated as one of the top six. Working for the 14 hours, it was a very long day, but it was definitely a great learning experience. How should we apportion the House of Representatives? The state population is divided by this ideal district size. The correction factor subtracts the percent over count. We submitted our paper with only 21 seconds left. It was intense. The black lines represent town boundaries, political borders. We painstakingly think about what would make a good question. We want something for which there is data available, but we don't want to pick a problem that's already been solved. There's a big difference between getting an answer and the answer at the end of the day because when you're solving a math modeling question, it's open-ended. First, we calculated the revenue generated by selling each ton of recycled material. The ability to communicate your answers to the general public is of utmost importance because otherwise your solution will not be able to impact the real-world problem. For these students to be able to do this kind of analysis in a meaningful way demonstrates that these kids have a lot of capability. Nothing delights me more than having a student tell me, it never occurred to us you would ask a question like that, and now I can really see how I can use math for anything. Winning the M3 challenge actually had a pretty big influence for me on how things turned out professionally. Since I then went and did two internships at Moody's. The Moody's Mega Math Challenge runner-up. After they announced the second place team, and there was they paused, and then we all just looked at each other, and we couldn't even think of anything to say. Really, it was speechless. <laughs> In 2013, Moody's Mega Math Challenge champions, Wyzetta High School from Plymouth, Minnesota. We had a really good group dynamic. If just one of us was missing or if we had a different member, everything would have changed. High Technology High School, Team 286 from Lincroft, New Jersey. I just remember it being incredibly exciting and presenting it was obviously incredibly nerve-wracking. It was cool to meet the other finalists who were able to travel to New York, and it was just a very fun experience overall. Pineview School, Team 481 from Osprey, Florida. It had always seemed like such a big leap to go from, you know, understanding pure math to all of a sudden being able to model real-world concepts, and we had sat down and done that. Montgomery Blair High School, Team 141 from Silver Spring, Maryland. We went to the actual Census Bureau headquarters and we met with the director and his senior staff. And the kids presented their work and he said, can I hire them right now? High Technology High School, Team 58, Lincroft, New Jersey. One of the things that really separates the Moody's Challenge is its time pressure, open-ended, do the best you can, figure out whatever you can in the way you want to approach it. And I think that much more represents the way you work in the real world. Now I work at a strategy consulting firm using the kind of data analysis skills and math skills that uh, I first practiced, you know, with the Moody's Challenge. People still ask me about it. So I definitely think it was a big confidence booster for me going forward. That tension that I remember feeling on the day of the challenge between planning and researching and then actually executing the model is the same tension that I feel sometimes in doing uh, engineering design. 